Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I finally received my Raspberry Pi Zero W. So this is the new Zero with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Same exact size as the regular Raspberry Pi Zero. Same CPU, same GPU, same pinout. Same layout altogether, except it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It will not be any more powerful than your Raspberry Pi Zero. Here's a comparison between the two. On the left we have the W, on the right we have the first Pi Zero. Now I've put a heatsink on my regular Pi Zero and that's what I'm going to do with the W also. Tiny cheap little heat sinks from China and they work great. I definitely recommend using a heatsink on your Pi Zero if you're going to be playing any retro games for an extended period of time. The CPU will heat up enough to throttle the speed back. Out of the box it's only at 1 GHz and I've seen it go as low as 400 MHz. When it heats up so it will affect your performance these heat sinks are super cheap i'll leave a link down below so i ordered like the basic kit it came with the adapters your hdmi your usb otg and a gpio pin header if you want to use them i'm going to get retro pi installed on this thing so here we are guys i have retro pi 4.1 installed on the raspberry pi 0 w Bluetooth and Wi-Fi work. I just want to show you here that my PS3 controller can be paired with the Pi W. And it works great. Wi-Fi works. Bluetooth works. This is a great addition to the Zero family. So I've spent about an hour with this unit here, and it works really well. Now, I'm going to leave a link down below to the image. This is a special image for the Raspberry Pi Zero W. If you're going to get a Zero for retro gaming, you need to understand that this is a very low-powered, single-core, single-board computer. It has 512 megabytes of RAM, and the CPU is only clocked at 1 gigahertz. So I definitely recommend sticking to older Nintendo stuff. Neo Geo and FBA will work, but you need to use a separate core that requires you to set up your controller manually. It's a little bit of a pain, and I can make a video on that this weekend if you guys want. Right now, what I'm going to do is just go in and try Super Nintendo for you. Before I forget, I just want to mention that this theme is called Tronky Fran. It is my favorite theme right now. You can install it from within RetroPie if you go to the RetroPie menu. You'll see a option called ES Themes. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, download Tronky Fran, and then enable it. It looks great and it works fine on the Raspberry Pi Zero W. I'm going to go with Samurai Showdown. Yeah, we'll do that one. I'm using the SNES 9X 2002 core. It seems to work fairly well on the Zero. I want to enable my FPS so you can see what I'm running at here. So I'll enter the RGUI, video, display frame rate, and we'll back out. So I used to love Samurai Showdown. I still do. This is a really, really good game for SNES, even for Genesis. Just get in here and play a little bit. And the sound is working, I just didn't have my HDMI recorder on right now, so there is no game sound recorded in this video. I'll put a little bit of a music track underneath, but it does work well. When I first installed this, it asked me if I wanted to enable HDMI sound, so I clicked yes. As you can see, I have the FPS listed in the lower left-hand corner. Now with my older Raspberry Pi Zero, I was able to overclock to 1050 megahertz, which is nothing. You will not notice any difference at all. But if you want to do it, you can go ahead and do it. The main thing is overclocking the GPU. And it does help out a little bit, but I have seen this one go as low as 55 FPS in certain games. Kind of disappointing, and I really don't think overclocking 50 megahertz is going to help that at all. You could try to lower the resolution, then again, it doesn't seem to help much on the SNES emulator. So overall, this is a really good addition to the Raspberry Pi family. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Only difference between this Zero and the older Zero is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if that's something you're interested in, it's definitely worth $10 to pick one up, especially if you already have the accessories for your old Pi Zero. 
And I also have a giveaway going on. I'm going to be giving away two Raspberry Pi Zero Ws and one Raspberry Pi 3 can of kit. Link is in the description to that video. Go on over there, click the like button, leave a comment so you can enter. U.S. residents only right now. My next giveaway will be set up for worldwide. Overall, I'm loving it. Same old, same old as a Raspberry Pi Zero, except we have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Like always, thanks for watching.